Do you like to make interactive cards and want a kit of all the pieces to make them easily and beautifully? Or do you prefer pop-up interactive cards that do not require purchase of a kit or any fancy dies? This video is for you no matter which of these apply. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I love to make interactive cards that pop up when opened and I also love butterflies. So I could not resist this butterfly window concept card kit from Hunky Dory, especially after watching the webisode episode at Paper Wishes showing how this card pops and flips and then stands up. Just look at how pretty this card is gorgeous butterfly, beautiful colors when the belly band is slipped off. The centerpiece pops up, stands up with a little pop piece here. The colors inside and out are just gorgeous. Even the back has a beautiful place for us to sign uh, our name and leave a message with some more decorative elements. And it's all the pieces are there and some very good instructions as well to make this. So I got this kit from Hunky Dory at Paper Wishes. Now all the card examples that I show you of course will be on my blog. And there are links to those blog posts and the products featured in the description box. So make sure to check that out. You get an instruction sheet um, with this kit. And this kit makes 12 of these cards. So you get a lot. All different colors. Um, I found that the webisode or video that um, Lene did at Paper Wishes where I bought this um, was very very helpful and I did watch that and learn a lot from that as well. But the instructions are there. All the pieces are available um, and they have yellow and pink and kind of grayish uh, and green and um, blue ones to choose from. So um, all different flowers, all different butterflies, and each one has all the pieces that you need. And then you get a sheet of um, acetate um, gold foil butterflies and several sheets of these. Um, and these butterflies that are acetate line up with these uh, to create the pop-up element. I made several of these and I'm going to be making some more and I just wanted to show you that um, this is the main piece of the card and you fold it in half with the bright, more brightly colored uh, flowers and foil on the inside. Um, there is an extra circle that you apply here and an extra decorative strip that you apply here. The um, These pieces here, this is the one that folds to be the pop-up piece and then this is a little box that you create and it even gives you um, like this line is the straight line that goes into the center fold and then this is the curve line and that's the one that gets lined up with the circle so it is very uh, well designed um, there is a um, strip on the other side of this that even tells you where to apply this and then this is the belly band so um, it is very easily put together with that box and then that little um, this piece here gets folded in half and that's what you attach that on it's going to lay flat more or less. I think sure you still need an extra stamp, but no big deal and then um, when the recipient gets it, it stands up for a beautiful display. The, each of these have little sentiments that you can choose. Happy birthday, especially for you. And um, I think that those are just gorgeous. But what if you wanted to make um, pop and flip cards without a kit um, or without even any fancy dies? Um, I had not seen them before and when I watched the, the webisode for those um, that I just showed you, I thought, well, 
what is that called? What is that? Um, and I found a pop, several pop and flip tutorials to um, to watch. Um, the webisodes and videos at Paper Wishes also show me products I just can't live without. And these woodland dyes and papers just had to come home with me. So there's a set of three animals, and they all have those either embossed or cut out leafy parts of them that just make these really unique. And then we have a set of wood, wooden woodland 6x6 six six pattern paper, and it all has the wood, and then it has a scene at the bottom. So if you're using the mousse, for example, you can choose the uh, pattern paper that also has a mousse on there and a beautiful uh, silhouette scene there. So I just, well, I couldn't resist those and they had to come home. So I made this pop and flip card with those products and a wavy wonky circle die from Creelys. So you can see the circle that is uh, cut out um, is got some wavy wonky lines there which I always think makes it more interesting and then this one opens up and you can either choose to pop this up or not it does stand up um, even without popping it up as you can see um, and I could have raised this and then it would have popped up even more but I like it both ways um, I also love having the pattern from the background continue into this circle. And um, so I'm, I'm really loving how that card turned out. And of course, I had to make a few more because I was having way too much fun. Here's one I created with new dies and stamps from Simon Hurley and Spellbinders. So I highlighted the rows um, with paper piecing. Um, and I left the other rows uncolored. Um, I'm not big colorer, but I love to do paper piecing, so that's what I did. And then this is a butterfly that's part of that set. And all the sentiments you see here are also part of that Simon Hurley set. And in this case, this is going to stand up. Um, so it's another pop and flip with a pretty message sending well wishes and butterfly kisses and another butterfly in there. So that would be a beautiful card to send to somebody. And then I made a real pretty floral feminine version um, with some pretty patterned paper and some uh, flowers. Um, and then this one is going to stand up with a popped up happy birthday. And then one more with the um, same dies and paper that I showed you. Um, thinking of you with that uh, bear there. And then this one is also uh, stands up kind of on its own, but you could put another element in here to make it stand up more. But I got to thinking about these dies here. When I was cutting out the bear and the moose, the negative image of what was left if that makes sense you you know if you cut this out the the figure that was left in the paper was really really cool too so i'm going to try to make this with the negative version of the bear um, so let's see how that um, will work out so i have uh, some different um, pattern paper that i've cut out my card base is 10 by six and a quarter and the pattern paper is six by four and three quarters, as is the cream paste piece that's in the, or the white piece that's inside, which I've already attached. So I have um, the Creelys um, wavy wonky circle die um, already cut out of the front of this. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, sets of dies, and I always think these dotted lines make it more interesting. So I attach the pattern paper and then I cut this out of the center. And that is um, ready to go. Then I also have a piece of cardstock that is two by four and another piece which is one and three quarters by one half folded in half. I put strong two-sided tape on both of these sides and that is ready to go to pop up our circle. So this piece that is uh, two by four, I'm going to score it at one, 
two, and three. And we're going to fold on all of those lines. And uh, then fold it in half. Now I've applied a good strong tape to pretty much cover this full inch of this one. And then on the other side I just put it along here. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, this piece is going to get put into the center, uh, right up to the center flap. and trying to center it uh, and press down and then this piece of tape here take the cover off and while that's laying flat push that down and now you've created your box then this piece here is going to get attached in the center here and it is what's going to have the circle um, pop up. Now, I saw several different versions of this tutorial. Um, this is the one I liked the best. Um, it seemed to be the easiest and also um, so you put it on here in the center and you press it down. And then you take the cover off of this piece of tape and you're going to take this and put it back into that circle um, and it's going to attach to that only. Um, one of the reasons why I like this pattern paper and I think this is the one that I'm going to show in a class at a local stamp shop is you don't have to worry too much about trying to line it up um, no matter where you put it it's going to look okay um, whereas uh, some of them you really had to make sure that you did line up the background um, with the paper now to try to make this a then using the negative i have cut out this bare um, out of a round circle that I uh, that's a Gina Marie Designs um, die it didn't have to have those dots there but it does make it a little more interesting and it also was pretty much the perfect size because I wanted a border on there I also cut it out from the back so this bear is going this way um, and the other bear is going to be going that way so again it's kind of fun to experiment with our dies use the positive and the negatives um, use it going the opposite way and you find more ways to use our dies which is kind of cool and I just love any type of interactive fun folder and so I, I had fun with this pop and flip idea And then I have the bear that came out of there. Um, he normally is going this way. So on the inside, just to hold that up, I have um, another one of those bears. And I put a little uh, mounting tape to pop them up. When the recipient receives the card um, they can pop and flip and have it stand up the uh, negative shows that pattern paper through there 
and then when they receive it they'll do that and you can write your message or put another die or stamp in there depending on what you might want to say I think I like that um, here's another version I made with that other pretty paper from Paper Wishes um, it has this bare scene down here I did the negative um, and then um, when the, this one is open there's another bear inside so um, we have lots and lots of options and of course you can use a kit and make those beautiful butterfly ones as well I had great fun making these pop and flip cards with and without a kit and I hope you learned from both of them so you can decide which one is best for you watch the next video for some more interactive card ideas and I hope you find some time this week to have fun creating and then send some of that out into the world